Harley has finally revealed its new design. Specs, information, I got it here. So you better check it out. Welcome everybody once again, once again, once again, again and again, and I'm gonna keep doing these. So I figure why not, man, why not? I am rocking it right now, you know, got my cock hat on. So I'm going to <laughs> do some talking. I've, I've been reading through this a bit, been reading through this. Um, so far, maybe, maybe. Um, the body, though, I, you know, I, I don't know, but, you know, there is, you know, looks like we got a bigger engine here. Looks like we got a little less weight on the bike. So, um, let's just dig right into this. This is, uh, 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 get into it, man. This is bite into this. So, let's first start off, the, we got a new engine. It's a new engine here. This is the Milwaukee 8 121, okay? Um... I'm not gonna go into a whole lot of specs just yet, but got a new engine for this new CVO. So with the engine also comes a uh, redesigned six gallon fuel tank. Apparently with this tank, uh, they use a lighter gauge steel compared to the previous tank, according to them, uh, reducing the weight by seven pounds. And they've reduced weight in other areas of the bike, according to this. The road glide's cla claiming to be 862 pounds while the street glide to be 838. That's still an 800 pound bike. Hope you didn't skip leg day. Now the 121 uh, V-Twin, uh, 1977 CC. I'm not gonna bore you with, you know, like the bore and all this kind of stuff. Uh, that's something you can go do your own homework on. I'm just here to tell you what they released and, you know, talk a little bit about this new body style. The saddlebags, uh, it looks like they kind of chopped them up. Um, they shortened them and it's kind of like... Also, it looks like the seat is going to be a bit higher. Um, that's cool. <laughs> Looks like the CVO Roglab receives new handlebars with a wider, f flatter bend, which Harley says is more neutral. Um, it's more neutral, comfor comfortable position and offers 27 degrees of adjustability for finer tuning. Well, we all know that everyone's just going to take them fuckers right off and put apes on it. I mean, uh, that's... That's cool. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. So this uh this is the uh kind of what I touched on in the last video is the the whole cluster thing. So comes with a new 12.3 inch TFT display and a new skyline operating system. Now apparently you can uh use this um you have your gloves on to be able to operate this thing. Um, uh, but I did read something on obvious, you know, obviously like you won't be able to do certain things if the bike's in motion. So um, now I'm not sure how that works with your hand controls. Obviously, I don't think you want to be touching on your, on your um, touch screen while you're booking it down the road. Um, still either way, it's kind of, you know, I don't know. You know, you're rocking it and it's like, yeah, man, what's going on on the TV? Yeah. So I didn't realize it. The old one was six and a half inches. So that's interesting. So yeah, the touch, uh, the touch screen works with gloves through the interfaces, uh, though the interface is designed primarily to be controlled by the handlebars. Switch gear and some touch features are disabled when motorcycles in motion. Well, that makes sense. I get that. Check this out though. This thing also uses a voice recognition system for general commands. The infotainment uh, system can connect with Apple Android devices via Wi-Fi for live weather navigation and traffic updates. Okay, I can't argue with that. That's that's cool. Uh, yeah, it, you know, if you're out, say if you're doing a cross country or something like that, you want to know 
what's up ahead. Uh, that that makes sense, you know. Uh, I'm just saying, I would want to know if I'm riding my ass into a freaking tornado. I can get behind that. Both Street Glide and Road Glide are equipped with the Rockford Fosgate Stage 2 audio system. 5x7 saddlebag speakers, each with 150 watts. Uh, 500 watt amplifier. Uh, and you can actually you can upgrade to the Stage 3. Now, I'm not super familiar with the uh, those CVO sound systems with you know the the bag speakers and all that. I'm not privy to that. I'm not exactly sure how that's going to sound, but I know lots of people up always just rip that shit out and upgrade it. So um, maybe it's kind of like you know how cars used to be. You know, you get your car and you go and you start you know you tear your, the old tape deck and just shitty sound system out you know you put your amp and subs and all that and all the new cars now really you can't a lot of them you can't beat the sound quality they got even the cheaper cars pretty pretty good all right so now let's get down to the the meat and potatoes of all of this um i'll probably just read this whoever wants these uh when are you going to be able to get your very own Looks like they're going to be arriving in showrooms about mid-July. Uh, with a base MSRP of $42,999 for the dark platinum color. And for a for the orange whiskey neat Raven Metallic hand apply two-tone two -tone paint scheme. Whoa, you're looking at an additional $6,000, which bumps that price up to $48,999. A lot of money, but, you know, a lot of people were saying, yeah, 50, you know, even my video, I said it's going to be $50,000, $60,000. So, um, if you do the two-tone, it's just, just a little bit below that. Uh, obviously, that's not out the door. That's just MSRP, and if you can find a dealer that sells at MSRP, so... Happy hunting. And these are liquid cool bikes, so. And a freeze. It's not bad looking, I guess. Um, that that headlight though, I just, <laughs> I don't know about the headlight. I just, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not feeling it, man. Uh, moving on to the Street Glide, you know, that's better. Um, I just, I feel like those, the saddlebags are just like, just, way up it just seems like the bike is elevated uh, i like my bikes low to the ground you know i like that that low center of gravity you know i like the the longer bags um just you know that's my hey look that's my preference everyone's different now my real question is i wonder how these things are going to sell i mean are, are they are people going to you know, flock out to the dealerships and be like, you know what? Shut up and take my money. I mean, look, do, does anybody really have that much money right now? I mean, let's just be real. Let's put the laptop down for a minute and talk. You got options here. You know, you don't have to run out and buy yourself a brand new Harley. Just like you don't have to run buy yourself a brand new car, brand new truck. Um, you know. I'm be personally I would be perfectly perfectly content with getting a bike that's a few years older, you know. You know, get yourself, you know, late teens, early twenties. Uh to be honest, me, I don't like the new design. I don't like the new body style, I don't like the fairings. Uh the street glide is mm, uh but it's kinda like new trucks. I mean, at one point in time, yeah man, it was they were hitting and now it's just like mm, nah, I wouldn't I wouldn't buy your product, bitch. Everyone's different. Some people are probably drooling over over these bikes, and they're just like, "Oh my god, my nipples are so hard." I, I'm neutral. I really am. I'm neutral. I, you know, I don't hate them. I'm just not gonna buy one ever. If you want one, go get it. That's all I can tell you. So let's summarize, okay? We got a new body style. We got a lot of new shoe shine. Um, we got a new engine. Um, lots of lots of updates. I, I know uh, they've kept it pretty much the same for a long time, with minor changes here and there. 
Um, change happens. It's what it is. Um, I think some things were good uh, what they changed and other things I think they suck. No, that's just my opinion. So yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, do you like the new design? Do you uh, do you like the updates? I really think I think this is this it's a preference thing. But share your thoughts. Tell me if you if you're gonna go out and buy one. Uh, and if you do, let me know how that goes. Anyways, I want to thank you for watching. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, do all that normal YouTube stuff that we all do because we got to have it grow, baby. We got to have it grow. It's got to grow. And I'll see you next time, man.